And what is up, people? It's Soul here. Going to be showing you all how to install Mo Creatures Mod for 1.6.2. So let's get into it right now. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get the latest version of Forge and click the installer. Whenever you get that, you're going to get this file right here. You're going to click on that file and you're going to install to client. Now, whenever you install the client, you want to open up your Minecraft and you want to click play and let it all load up and nice and nice and nice and see if it actually worked. Now, whenever you do that, then you can go and over, <coughs> over to more creatures mod forum so now whenever you go to more creatures mod forum do not do this bottom one right here this is outdated now so if you want to get an outdated version and not work and have your minecraft crash on you then this is the one that you would want to get but if you want to be smart and actually get the one that is updated then you will want to get the top one right here now I was watching some people do this mod review uh, and everything and how to install it and they told me that you have to do this one whenever it was actually this one and they were well their videos were a little outdated because the newest version of this is finally out with the newest version of Forge now pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to click on this you're going to download it and then you're going to download the GUI API and then you're going to download the custom mob spawner and then you should get three didn't mean to do that sorry and then you're going to get three files right here you're going to get the GUI API you're going to get the custom mob spawner 2.3.1 and you're going to get the doctor Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures Mod 6, version 6.01 now Whenever you do that, you are going to simply go to your file browser, and then uh, you're going to go to roaming. Well, you're going to first type percent app data percent, and then you're going to click enter, and then this will bring you to your dot .minecraft jar. Now, whenever you open up your dot .minecraft, you will go to your mods folder right here, and some people think that you need a core mods, but you do not need core mods. All right, because core mods doesn't do anything. All right, so like pretty much they've updated it to where you do not need core mods to put your GUI API anymore. So pretty much all you do is you drag all the files right on in there. Now, these are all in there successfully done. You are done. Now, you're going to exit off of that. Uh, put Minecraft Forge back into your downloads or wherever you want to put it. I just leave it on my desktop for whenever I do this kind of stuff. Now, so whenever you open it up, you are going to open up with Forge. Uh, click edit just to make sure that you have it on release 1.6.2 Forge 9.10.0.845. Now you're going to save profile, then you're going to click play. Now, whenever it loads up, you want to go straight to the mods little pack that's going to show up right where your um, whenever you uploaded uh, Forge into it, because it's going to show and tell you if you actually did install the mod correctly. Now it's going to come down here and look, you got the custom mob spawner, you have mo creatures, and you have any other mods that you have. So I have smart render, all smart moving, and timber, and extra biomes, and everything like that for whenever I do my modded hard, uh, modded survival. Uh, pretty much. All right. So then you're going to go into a single player world, new world. Uh, yes. Just say yes, because then it'll just add in the extra um, mods that you pretty much. <laughs> didn't have beforehand and look at that we are in here now and we're just gonna look around we're gonna see if anything is if there are any animals around that we can just find real quick if, oh, look there's an ostrich see that it has worked successfully and we are going to go into creative right here and look at that you got the extra vines we got mo creatures misc and so then you go right here you go right here and you go up here and then you can see that you have all of the different mobs and everything that you can spawn in different um, things like the wyvern portal staff and everything like that so it has worked successfully and what a great job well done for for you and for um, watching this video and figuring out how to do it just from watching me so thank, uh, thank you all for watching if you enjoyed please give this video a like subscribe comment um, personal message me if you have ran into any troubles and I will go through with it I will go through it with you and we will figure it out alright so if you guys did enjoy then I will leave you with an I do 
and I will see you later. So, bye.